Tape Master's assistant coming at you with my very first Harry Potter Lego set. This is this set has 350 pieces and is called the Burrow and is I'm not sure the price. I think $85. So we're gonna start off with this strange animal, the pig. Not very necessary. Just you know, simple pig. He has a pig pen, and I'll tell you something about his pig pen later that is important. And now we're going to go on to the Owls. My favorite, Hedwig, of course. Of course, they did a bit like a stick built on him. So, oh, it's okay, Lego. It's sort of okay, but... And this Owl's built the same way, you know. Except this one's Errol, or Pidgewin. Whichever one is Ron's. Pidgewin, I think, is Ron's. Uh, now let's get on to the characters. Alright, so the first one is Harry Potter. Uh, a blue, nice blue jacket, like the nice long stick wand here, brown, and has double-faced, double face head, so you can make him angry, argh, and actually does have a printing of the scar. The torso is black and back printing. So there is Harry Potter. Next we have Mr. Weasley. I don't really like this one much, Lego. I think he could have done a better job, but whatever you say. A uh, nice gray stick wand. Um, he does have back printing. A regular gray torso. And does not have a double face. But he does have this little hairpiece that goes over his eyebrow. Whatever you guys were to want to put it on, his eyebrow or off, you decide. And now the now Ginny Weasley, which is actually not very pretty at all, but all right, I'll go with it. Nice yellow stick wand for a girl, yay. Um, gray jacket, a uh, printed red torso, and she is a double face. And has back printing. Next, we have the regular Mrs. Weasley. Um, could have done a better job on the front, but. And she does not have double face. She's got a. Her torso is kind of built in, really. And uh, she has back printing. So there's Miss Weasley. Uh, my favorite character of the whole set, Frenair Greyback. Love the detail, Lego. Compliment on the hair. I like the eyes the most because they're beating at you. And nice black plain stick. A black torso. And he is a double face. Oh, come on, come off here. It's Professor Coral a hundred times. And that's probably... It's not a scared look. I suppose it's just concerned. And no back printing. <laughs> Lastly, but not least, we have... Oh, darn it. We have Bellatrix Lestrange. The Deranged. Rhymes perfectly, doesn't it? Uh, her torso is kind of built in, really, with her dress type, so she doesn't really have one, can't see it, nice black wand stick, uh, common on the hair, very good hair, and has a double face, mm. just put it back on like that, scare face, ah, I'm, they're losing, I mean, I'm losing a bit of back printing, and there she is. So that is the minifigures. I will just push them aside. And get on to the features. Uh, first, we'll, we have a tiny little cannon. I'll just put it up to you. Uh, not flip fire missiles, so great, because it's Harry Potter. Yeah, I'll just demonstrate. They gave me an extra flame, so I just added it. 
Uh, this goes with the house. Ooh, I'll just fire at the house or something. Hey, look, great shot. Get the flower right out. Yes, very good detail on this Lego. Very good detail. I love it. So I just put that right there. Wish I hadn't broken it. But I had to. Next, we have the forest. Um, if you look really closely, you can see a bit of a green toad in there, but I'm not going to pick him up because it takes him forever to put back on. Uh, there is a cannon in the back. Let me see if I need any characters. Oh, yes, I do. For now, gray back, kind of. Well, you can really put them wherever you want. They don't. They don't really stand anywhere. She just, just stands on that ledge. And you pick up one of the flame things, put it in its case, like so, back here, and fire it at the house. Please don't say I hit the flower again. Oh, look, complete shot, miss. <laughs> Lovely. That is the forest, so I remove that aside and get on to what everyone loves is food powder. Why don't I demonstrate with a character? Ah. Uh, here's... One of the owls does go on here. I think it is... Pidgewin. So, yeah. And you put... Harry in there, and... I'm gonna have to hold it. Can the camera see this? Right, here it goes. You can only really see the green flame up close. It just kind of changes from red to green. It's kind of cool, really. It's kind of fun. Alright, so that is all the features. So we will get on to the features of the actual set. Uh, like I said, two flower pots. Um, and there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight windows that open and close, except for this one, this doesn't count. A door that opens and closes, and now I will turn to the pig pen, where I will show something very valuable. Um, you can store the wands in there, like so. Just put them in, that's where the pig stands, but who cares what the pig is, where the pig is. You just put his wand in there. You can put all of their wands in there, really. I'll just get them out now, and Do open and close also in the back. And now I will get you to the back actually. I never understood this about the burrow, but they always kept the, the back of things open, probably just for playability. Very good playability for this set actually. Um, these must be some kind of. The playability on this is that there are boards on the side. Like, here you can just, when they get in shot, they just, <laughs> like that. That's a cool feature, and this can, <laughs> I'll just stop futzing around now and get to the inside. There is a stove clock, and a big clock, that, like grandfather clock. Dishes on top, little, like, plates, doors do open and close. There is a little faucet in the back, if you look closely, and this black room, you can sometimes put Harry with, and he will actually fly with it, but it takes forever to get off the wall, so I won't bother with it for now. Uh, turnable chairs, the Daily Prophet, and food. Well, they actually say, now that I figured it out, in the box, that you actually put the wands in here, but I put them over there for some reason. Uh, going to the second floor... Now, this one actually might need some characters. Hedwig goes on top of his trunk. His trunk does open, but not all the way. Mm, never mind. Uh, characters do sleep on the beds, but they do fall off because of the shape of the pillows. They're kind of bumpy or slanted. 
Um, down here, the chandelier does turn in the lower room. And I think that's it for both of the rooms. Let's get to the high room, high floor. In there, if you look closely, you can see the quibbler with Harry on it, and I don't really know who sleeps in each room, but there's not enough ro rooms for each. And there's a lamp back in there and some printing on the benches. And that's pretty much all the features, actually. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, well, there is one thing that LEGO did very poor about this. They left out a lot of the characters for this scene. It's like, let's trade the pig and then put in Ron. Well, that's all, folks. I'll see you next time with the Hagrid's Hut. So that is next. Bye-bye.